Bienvenidos chicos a todos los que están conectados. Vamos a comenzar entonces con el capítulo número 15 del Principito. Ya el Principito ha visitado varios planetas y veamos un nuevo planeta el cual él va a visitar. The sixth planet was ten times larger than the last one. It was inhabited by an old gentleman who wrote voluminous books. Oh, look! Here is an explorer, he exclaimed himself, to himself when he saw the little prince coming. Ok, the sixth planet. Aquí, eh, six, recuerden que esto es número 6, y tiene la TH, ¿no? Cuando tiene una TH, cualquier número, le ponemos esto, sexto. Exactamente, sexto. El sexto planeta estaba habitado, era ten times larger. Larger significa más grande. ¿no? Large, largo o grande. Ok, large, largo o grande. Ok. Eh, ten times, diez veces. Ten times. No es diez tiempos, ¿ya? Ten times. Cuando tenemos... Un número y al lado times significa veces. George, I joined to your WhatsApp group, but too many people sent several messages. This was, this was a stress. Uh, George, eh, lo único que tienes que hacer es, eh, uno, ¿no? Eh, ponerle en silencio eh, los mensajes. Eh, y cuando tengas un tiempo al día, puedas entrar y leer los mensajes, ¿no? Eh, en la mayoría de casos son videos... Para que puedan leer, para que puedas escuchar tips de inglés. ¿ya? Y también eh, cuando subo las repeticiones y los likes. En realidad la idea es que ustedes estén ahí activos. Si de alguna manera te, te estresa, solamente ponle silenciar. Pero al menos te recomendaría entrar, si ves mensajes, una, una vez al día. Revisar los videos que se mandan por allí. Y ten por seguro que eh, te va a ayudar muchísimo. ¿Ya? Así que... Es la, una sugerencia nada más. Eh, Pónganlo a silenciar nomás. No, no se haga mucho problema. 10 eh, eh, veces más grande que la última. Que la última ¿no? This was inhabited by an old. ¿no? Inhabited. Ya hemos visto que inhabited significa habitar. Habitar. Eh, by an old gentleman. Old gentleman. A ver. Old gentleman. En este caso, esto es un caballero, gentleman, o gentleman también, ¿no? gentleman o gentleman, caballero, eh, caballero mayor o caballero ma un caballero viejo, who wrote voluminous books, wrote, what does wrote mean, guys? A ver, wrote, what does wrote mean? A ver, road, un hombre anciano, muy bien, Roger, ok, escribió, ajá, esto viene de write, escribir, exacto, es el pasado, escribió libros voluminosos, oh, look, here is an explorer, here, aquí, aquí, ajá, here, come. here is an explorer, ¿no? aquí hay un explorador, he exclaimed, él exclamó, la E no suena aquí, es exclaim, exclaimed, ok, eh, to himself when he saw the little prince coming, Cua exclamó para sí mismo, cuando, when, he saw, what does so mean, a ver, so, cuando, y esto de aquí es so, esto viene del verbo sí, que significa ver. Um, hay una herramienta que eh, tiene este nombre, so. Eh, ¿Saben ustedes cuál es? Uh -huh. A ver, tienen... ¿Saben ustedes a cuál se refiere? So. Ajá, es una herramienta para cortar, ¿no? Madera. O... Uh, uh -huh. En este caso sería sierra ¿no? o la, la hoja, la hoja, ¿no? la sierra. De las, la, um, hay algunos instrumentos que tienen una hoja con la, que, que es la que corta. ¿no? 
y la cual puedes reemplazar. ¿no? A eso se le llama so también. Cierra. Chainsaw. Ok. Chainsaw es una motosierra. Chainsaw, ¿no? Change viene de moto. Change viene de cadena, ¿no? Una sierra a cadena o una motosierra. Una cegueta. A eso, a eso sí no conozco. A ver, vamos a buscar cegueta. ¿Qué cosa es cegueta? Um, claro, exactamente. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Entonces, pero en este caso es la primera, ¿no? La primera. Él vio. The little prince coming. Que el principito estaba llegando. The little prince sat down. Sat. Este es el pasado de qué? Verbo. Se rucho. Eh, o cierra, pero pequeñita. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, sí, sí. Acabo de verlo aquí en, en imágenes de Google. Ajá, sat down. Sat viene del verbo sit. Es pasado también. Sat down. El, el principito se sentó en la... Eh, in the, on the table. On the table. And panted. Bueno, table significa mesa. On the table. Ok. And panted. A little. Ok. Eh, se sentó en la mesa, sería. On the table. Um, eh, sobre la mesa o encima de la mesa ya. Um, no creo que se refiera a que sea on sobre, ¿no? Eh, on the table es también en la mesa, nada más. And panted. Eh, a little. And panted. No, no es painted. <ríe> no es painted, es panted. Panted es una acción cuando uno, por ejemplo, ha corrido bastante, ¿no? Eh, y hace esta acción, ¿no? panted. A ver, cuando tú corres bastante, te quedas sin, sin aire y normalmente haces esto, ¿no? Jadear. Panted y jadeó. Jadeó. Panted. Ajá. Resoplar también podría ser, ¿no? Se ag agitar, claro, pero panted se está refiriendo a la acción de, de respirar. Cuando tú, tú respiras rápido por la falta de aire. Y, ajá. En este caso es jadear, ¿no? Ese sonido que uno hace, ¿no? Ese es el... Eso es lo que utilizamos, panted. Y jadeó un poco. O... Eh, resopló también un poco, ¿no? He had already traveled so much and so far, ¿no? El... Already... El ya. He already traveled. El ya había viajado mucho. Ok, so much... And so far, y muy lejos. Él ya había, ¿no? Había viajado mucho y muy lejos. A ver, siguiente pregunta. Eh, where do you come from? Where do you come from? Ok, where do you come from? ¿De dónde vienes? Muy bien. Where do you come from? Where do you come from? Up on the table. Could, could it be used? Nemesis. Hi, Nemesis. Hi. Nice to have you here. Okay. Up on the table. Yeah, it could be like uh, above the, the table, no? Mm. Uh, to sit down at the table. At the table, no? At the table sería a la mesa. On the table. Sobre la mesa. Solo que aquí no me queda claro, ¿ah? ¿eh? No me queda claro si de verdad es encima de la mesa. No creo, ¿ah? ¿eh? Sit down on the table. At the table, at the table, si le ponen, si no, siéntate a la mesa. Um, ok. The old gentleman said to him, ¿no? el viejo le dijo a él. A ver, mmm, vamos a leer esta última parte y de ahí los escuchamos leer, ¿ya? No, está sencillo todo esto de aquí. What is that big book? No, big. What does big mean? A ver, big. What does big mean? Ok, big, grande, muy bien. Eh, said the little prince, what are you doing? Ajá, what are you doing? Esto de aquí está en present continuous, en presente está esto, ¿no? What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Listo, entonces vamos a leer hasta aquí. The sixth planet was ten times larger than the last one. 
It was inhabited by an old gentleman who wrote voluminous books. Oh, look, here is an explorer, he explained to himself when he saw the little prince coming. The little prince sat down on the table and panted a little. He had already traveled so much and so far. Where do you come from? The old gentleman said to him. Uh, what is that big book? Okay, what is that big book? Said the little prince. What are you doing? Okay. So, very interesting questions. Está sencillísimo. Está muy sencillo para leer lo del día de hoy. Ok. A ver, chicos, los que deseen pueden enviarme su solicitud para poder escuchar su lectura. A ver, los espero aquí. Roger, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Fine, fine. It's been a little cold uh, these days are here cold? in Perú. Is it cold no, in there? No. Uh, I mean the, the weather in general. Oh. That's yeah, good. But, 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 many, but many people at this moment are getting cold. Huh? Are getting uh, colder with fever and things like that. It's very common. This, this I wish I could be in your place. Because I'm here, I'm so hot. Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose. Uh, what's the temperature, uh, the average temperature? About 39. 39. 39. Okay. At, at the day? Sometimes, yeah. Or 30 and 39. It's around there, more or less. Okay. Wow. That's, uh, it's that's a high temperature. Difficult to, to deal with. No. Uh, to me, here in Lima, it's like um, the average temperature uh, in summer is 30. Eh, 43, eh, no, 30, 32%, 32 grados, ¿no? and that's all. So today was uh, the, very, the very, hottest very day that I ever had. Mm, yeah. Today was the hottest day that I ever had. I really? was feeling like that, yeah. Because there was <laughs> also a solar flame, mm. and that affects the atmosphere, and it's oh. getting warm in the, in the planet. Oh, yeah, yeah. And also here in the yard, we film that directly. Okay, okay. Wow. But I suppose, yeah, now the temperature is, is lower, right? <laughs> no, no. It, 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 it gets hot. hot. Really? Oh. Yeah. My God. Well, um, let's start listening to your reading, hey, Roger. Okay. Yeah, you can start whenever you want. Okay. The six planets was ten times larger than the last one. It was inhabited by an old gentleman who wrote a voluminous book. Oh, look, here is an explorer. He exclaimed to himself when he saw the little prince coming. And the little prince sat down on the table and he panted a little. He already had traveled so much and so far. Where are you coming from? The old man said to him, What is that big book? said the little prince. What are you doing? I'm a geographer. The old man said to him, What is a okay. geographer? asked the little prince. <laughs> okay. That's good, that's good, that's good. You okay, we, we you needed to, to read until this part, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, uh, Roger. Very okay. good. Everybody, please uh, give your chat on the uh, on the chat, please, for your friend Roger. Okay. Uh, how did you feel today, uh, reading? Me, more or less. More or less. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, I read a little bit faster. Um, I have to give more information in my reading. I have oh, to okay, okay. be more more pause. Yes, you just uh, don't 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 think about think about the his the, the story, no? Think about the plot. And the environment to, uh, around here do not help me a lot because it's too noisy. There was a motor concha that is a person who's performed a service in a okay. motorbike, so <laughs> okay. you can say to a person okay. in any direction that you want to. He to take you, and you have to okay. pay for his service. 
Oh, okay. That's interesting. That's a nice. Yeah, I uh, went on Main Street that you will hear a lot of noises. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much, Royer, for your uh, reading. We love it. We love it. Uh -huh, okay. Thanks. Okay. And everybody in the chat also love it. Let's continue with Daniel. Many people do not pronounce my last name very well. It's C U A U T L E, Quautle. Quautle. Uh, wh where yeah. is that uh, last name from? Last name. Uh, where is it from? In Mexico. Mexico. I'm live Mexico. Ah, okay. You're. Uh, and, and that is a very, uh, very typical name, right? Very typical last name, no? a yeah. native last name. Yeah, yeah, in city Tlaxcala. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. This is the first time I met a people, a person with your last name. Yeah, it's, oh, okay. it's not very common around this, this part no, in yeah. Peru. <laughs> <laughs> Quautle, no? Quautle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Daniel, for your for your tip and sharing your uh, something about yourself. Now let's start listening to your reading and see how do you do with the Kundix part. Okay, you can start from here till okay. this part. Okay. The sixth plan planet was ten times larger than. The last one, it was inhabited by an old gentleman who wrote voluminous books. Oh, look, here is a, a, an explorer. He explained, exclaimed to himself, to himself when he saw the little prince coming. The little prince sat down on the on the on the table and painted a little. He had already traveled so much and so far. Where do you come from? The old gentleman said to him. What is he? What is that big book? Said the little prince. What are you doing? Good. <laughs> okay, you. everybody, please in the chat. Let's uh, get a round of applause to your friend. Okay, very good, very good, uh, Daniel. Uh, the only thing, please don't forget to uh, this, no? When we have simple past, uh, we have some verbs, no? Exclaimed, we don't pronounce the letter E. Okay. And um, in, this, in this part, no? traveled, we don't Trouble. pronounce the letter L too. Traveled. Okay, so uh, but for the rest, your intonation is okay. Very nice. I really like it. Okay. Uh, cuate. <laughs> Name is you say cuate. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is, I am a geographer. I'm a geographer. The old, man, the old gentleman said to him. Okay, geographer. That's nice, huh? What is a geographer? Asked the little prince. A geographer is a scholar who knows the location of all the seas, rivers, towns, mountains, and deserts. Okay, a scholar. What does a scholar mean, guys? Scholar. Okay, scholar. No es escolar, por si acaso. No, no es que sea igual que en el español. Okay. En este caso, scholar es un, podríamos llamar un mm, erudito, erudito, o eh, en el caso de, en, en el caso de algunos lugares como eh, becario, ¿no? becario también, para una persona que recién está ganando experiencia me parece. Becario, pero principalmente es una persona muy estudiada, ¿no? que tiene muchos estudios. A, a scholar who knows the location. Location, a ver, acá otra palabra. Location. Location no significa que estás, lo, que estás loco. Estoy location, no dice. ¿no? 
¿Qué significa la palabra location? Localización o ubicación. Ajá, ubicación, ¿ya? Eh, and of all the seas. A ver, vamos a ver aquí algunos, algunos accidentes geográficos. Seas. Sí, significa mar. Mar, ajá, en plural, mares. River. Esto de aquí sería... Eh, ríos. River, ríos. Towns. Towns. Pueblos. Uh, no, towers, towers sería, eh, towers, sería torres. Mountains, montañas, mountains, 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 and deserts. Ok, aquí recuerden, tenemos una palabra muy parecida, que es esta de aquí. Desert, y este de aquí sería desert. Ok, desert, esto de aquí es desierto. Y este aquí, desert, desert sería postre. Muy bien, chicos, postre. Desert, desert. Perdón, desert, al revés, desert, desert, desert. That is very interesting, said the little prince. Here at last is a man who has a real profession. That's very interesting. Acá la I no suena, ¿ya? No es interesting, no. Interesting, interesting. So the little prince, ¿ok? Aquí, at last, al fin, ¿no? Eh, at last. What does at last mean? Al menos, at the end, in the end. Claro, at the end, in the end. Al menos, muy bien, parecido. Ajá, pero eh, por fin, ¿no? Por fin. Y este es a, al menos, ¿no? Eh, y se man, a, por fin, al men, un hombre, ¿no? Who has a real profession, que tiene una profesión real. And he cast a look around him. Ok, cast. Cast viene de casting. Ajá, ¿qué, qué significará cast? To cast. A ver, cast. Tenemos cast. Muy bien. Cast a look. Ok. La, eh, el, um, el significado principal es emitir. ¿ya? Emitir. Cast. Emitir. Cast a look. Eh, esto de aquí sería... Echar un vistazo, ¿no? Emitir un vistazo no tiene sentido para nosotros, ¿no? Más es echar un vistazo, ¿ya? O dar un vistazo. Ah, no, casting ya es diferente, ¿no? Casting ya es una... Eh, una elix. Una... Un elenco puede ser... Y la acción de cast, ¿no? Es la de... Um, elegir, por así decirlo, ¿no? Casting. El, elegir un elenco o un reparto, ¿no? Eh, Cast a look Emitió una, una vista O dio, echó una vista Around him, ¿no? Alrededor de él At the planet of the geographer A ver um, ¿Dónde nos quedamos? Acá It was the most magnificent and stately planet That he had ever seen Stately Ok, what does stately mean? Stately eh, molde, mm, no tanto como molde, ¿eh? Lanzar. Ok, majestuoso, magnif mag eh, magnífico es, bueno, magnificent es magnífico. Stately, yes, majestuoso. Ok. Good. Ok, that's good. Imponente también podría ser. Imponente. Eh, that, had, that he had ever seen. Uh -huh. Muy bien. You're very... 
Your planet is very beautiful, he said. Has it any oceans? Has it any oceans? Tiene algunos océanos. Esto de aquí podríamos verlo, ¿no? Eh, la forma general que usamos ahora es, ¿no? Does it have any oceans? Esa sería la forma correcta, ¿no? De, de decirlo. ¿no? Does it have any oceans? Ok, esa sería la, la forma que, bueno, ¿no? La más común que utilizaríamos, ¿no? El has it. En este caso, lo que pasa es que eh, también lo podemos utilizar, pero me van a preguntar, pero profe, ¿no va primero el do y el das, no? Esto de aquí es lo más común, ¿no? has it, ok? Esto de aquí es lo que aprendemos en, eh, en los cursos. Pero eso, está, eso también se usa, ¿no? Es muy antiguo. Exacto, eh, Tiffany. I couldn't tell you. No te podría decir, ¿no? Eh, said the, ge the geographer. Ah, oh, the little prince was disappointed. Ok, disappointed. What does disappointed mean? Decepcionado, sí. Es un lugar... Es un lenguaje literal. Y abarca el lenguaje coloquial de los pueblos. Bueno, mm, well, sí, puede ser así. Decepcionado sería aquí. ¿eh? Decepcionado. Disappointed. Eh, has it any mountains? No tiene algunas montañas, lo mismo que en la casa anterior. ¿no? I couldn't tell you, no podría decirte. Es el little the geographer. And towns and rivers and deserts? I couldn't tell you that either. No podría decirte eso tampoco. ¿no? Tampoco, either. A ver, mmm, creo que está ahí, podríamos leerlo. ¿no? A ver, desde aquí hasta either, ¿ya? Lo voy a leer para ustedes, chicos, y los que deseen, mándenme una solicitud. Mándenme una solicitud para poder escuchar su lectura, ¿ya? Voy a... Eh, voy leyendo. A geographer is a scholar who knows the location of all the seas, rivers, towns, mountains and deserts. That is very interesting, said the little prince. Here, at last, is a man who has a real profession. And he cast a look around him at the planet of the geographer. It was the most magnificent and stately planet that he has ever seen. Your planet is very beautiful, he said. Has it any oceans? I can't tell you, said the geographer. Oh. The little prince was disappointed. Has it any mountains? I can't tell you, said the geographer. And towns and rivers and deserts? I can't tell you that either. <laughs> ok. En esta parte vamos a escuchar a Alejandra. Hi, good evening. Alejandro o Alexandra? Alejandra. Ah, perdón. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alejandra. Sorry. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> That's very nice. Uh, tell me, where are you from, Alexandra? I'm from Ecuador. Oh, really nice. Good, good. Um, what's the weather like in Ecuador, in, in your town right now? Um, in right now, it's very cold. Oh, okay. It is, and where, are, where do you live exactly? Which city? I live in the capital, in Quito. Okay. Ah, okay. So, is it... Yeah, Quito is very high, right? Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, it's very cold, too. At this moment, yeah, no? In Peru, also, we are in entering to winter. So, the temperature is, is, is getting low these days. Mm. In Ecuador, it's... In Quito, it's very... Eh, ay, no puedo mucho en inglés. <laughs> Algunas ah. palabras, no sé. <laughs> es muy variado el clima. Ah, es okay. como que a veces hace frío, a veces hace calor, yeah. o, o llueve un ratito y de ahí mm -hmm. otra vez sale el sol. <laughs> Entonces sí oh, es okay. muy, muy raro el clima de Quito. <laughs> <laughs> ok, nice, nice. So, eh, let's start 
listening to your reading, Alexandra. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to start um, from this part, a geographer. Yeah. Until the end, either. <coughs> okay. A geographer is a scholar who knows the location of all the seas, rivers, towns, mountains, and deserts. That is very interesting, say the little prince. Here at last is a man who has a real profession, and he casts a look around him at the planet of the geographer. It was the most magnificent and stately planet they had ever seen. Your planet's very beautiful, he said. Has it any oceans? I couldn't tell you, said the geographer. Ah, the little prince was disappointed. Has it any mountains? I couldn't tell you, said the geographer. And towns and rivers and deserts? Eh, no veo la otra. Eh, no puedo ver mucho la... La otra. Eh, sí, por favor, gracias. Mm, I couldn't tell you that either. Ok, good, excellent. <laughs> ok, every, everybody please uh, class in the chat. Ok, Alexandra, uh, good reading. I, I recommend you to continue practicing uh, because you have a very good uh, uh, pronunciation. Okay, very good pronunciation. Uh, for example, only in this case, no, this is the disappointed, disappointed. Mm -hmm. And this is geographer, geographer. Okay. Uh -huh, but for the rest, it was very funny, very, very nice. Okay, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Tiffany, good evening. Good evening. Hi, nice to have you here. Thank you. We are very happy to have you. Uh, almost all the classes are uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Tiffany, too. So uh, let's start with your reading, okay? Mm -hmm. From a geographer till the end, okay? From a geographer. Either. Mm -hmm. a, ge a geographer is a scholar who knows the location of all the seas rivers, towns, mountains, and deserts, and deserts. That is very interesting, said the little prince. Here at uh, last is a man who has a real profession, and he cast a look around him at the planet of the geographer. It was the most magnificent and stately planet that he had ever seen. Your planet is very beautiful, he said. Has it any oceans? I couldn't tell you, said the geographer. Um, the little prince was disappointed. Has it any mountains? I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you, said the geographer. And I can see this. In towns and rivers and, des and deserts, I couldn't tell you uh, that either. Okay, good. <laughs> Very good job, Tiffany. Okay, Thank everybody, you. please don't forget to give your leave your claps on the chat. Okay. Very nice. Very nice, Tiffany. I really like your your pronunciation, your tone of voice too. You sound Thank you. you sound very relaxing you know, when when you when I listen to you. It's very relaxing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so thank you very much for your participation. Oh, Luis, let's continue with you. Eli, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Gracias, muchas gracias. Okay, Luis, good evening. Good evening. What's up? How are you, Luis? How have, uh, tell us about your day. Everything's okay. Okay, good, good. What, what did you have to do today? Did you have to work or no, to today, study? Today, today I didn't go to my job, but uh, I was uh, I was do another job. Uh, that's uh, that is waiting for two or three months, and today I finishes this job. 
Ah, okay, you finished the job. Oh, okay, yeah. good, good. That it's very nice to at least take a free time no? after working hard during yeah, exactly. one week. Tomorrow, tomorrow may uh, I go to my my job. <laughs> I was ah, practicing. Okay. I, I practicing my the mic the condition the conditioner is I don't remember what air conditioning. And may it is a possibility possibility yes. In May. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good, Roger. Uh, sorry, Luis. <laughs> Let's start with your listening. Okay. So you can start from the a geographer until eater. A geographer, a geographer is a chart who knows the location of all the seas, rivers, towns, mountains, and deserts. That is very interesting. Said the little prince. Here's, here at, at last is a man who has a real profession. And he casts a look around him at the planet of the geographer. It was the most magnificent and stately planet that he had ever seen. Your planet is very beautiful, he said. Has it any oceans? I couldn't tell you, said the geographer. Ah, uh, the little prince was disappointed. Has it any mountains? I couldn't tell you, said the geographer. And towns and rivers and cells? I couldn't tell you that either. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, well done, Roy. Uh, Luis, please, everybody, leave your craft in the comments. Okay, nice, nice reading. Luis, I, uh, I would like you to practice this sound, R, R. In English, we have the letter R behind. Okay. okay? Behind. What does this mean? Huh? That the, oh. the tongue goes backwards. La lengua va para atrás. R, R. Ok. Ok. Uh, y uh, después tenemos igual uh, la L. L. Para atrás, otra vez. L. L. Más para atrás. L. Real profession. <ríe> Entonces sería real. Real, real profession. Real. Ah, ah, real estás leyéndolo profession. como en español. Real, no, la, la dos para atrás. Real, real, real. real. Ajá, acá. Here. Creo que se cortó. <ríe> Luis, solamente eh, te animo a practicar estas dos, estos dos sonidos que te van a ayudar bastante a tu eh, pronunciación. Oh, entonces seguimos. Exactly, exactamente. Se the little the geographer said. No, eh, dijo el geógrafo, but I am not an explorer. But I am not an explorer. No soy un explorador. Explorer. I have a single explorer on my planet. Ok, eso también, ya igual, eh, eso también se usa. Eh, ya no es muy usado, ¿no? Lo que nosotros usamos es esto. I don't have. I don't have a single Single Explorer. Esto también lo enviaron al... Esto también lo enviaron al grupo en la mañana. No sé si se acuerdan. A, una, a un alumno eh, que envió eh, un subpárrafo, ¿no? Y, por ejemplo, él envió... I have got... Uh, I don't know. I have got... Um, a little nose, have got a little nose. ¿Ya? Esto de acá, have got, sí se usa. Esto es británico. ¿Ya? Es la forma como normalmente se utiliza. Británico, have got. Pero, eh, y en el caso del de negativo también usamos esto. ¿ya? Haven't got. I haven't got a little nose. ¿no? Yo no tengo. 
Ok, una, una nariz pequeña. Okay. El half got es muy parecido al half, ¿no? Nada más lo mismo. I have a little nose. No tengo una pequeña nariz. I have got. I've got. ¿no? I've got a little nose. Esto se utiliza en eh, inglés británico. Ahora, lo que utiliza aquí eh, en realidad es una, una forma antigua, ¿no? I haven't a single explorer. Aquí no tiene el got, ¿no? Entonces, eh, eso les recomendaría utilizar, I don't have o I haven't got, ¿no? I don't have, inglés americano, I haven't got, inglés británico, ¿ya? Eh, I haven't a single explorer in my planet, ¿no? No tengo ni un explorador, ni un solo explorador, ¿no? En mi planeta. It is not a geographer who goes out to count the towns, the rivers, the mountains, the seas, the oceans, the deserts. Goes out. What does goes out mean, guys? Uh -huh. Goes out. Goes out. Yes, that's uh, the, the connection, bro. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm a little sorry, Luis, but continue practicing. Okay, continue practicing with your English. It's good. Uh, real. Uh -huh. Real here. Here. Um, okay, goes out. Or go out. ¿no? Sería en ese caso salir. Go out. Salir. Who goes out to count. ¿no? Sale, a can, sale a contar. ¿No? Sale a contar los, los pueblos, los ríos, las montañas, los océanos, los mares, ¿no? los desiertos. Um, the geographer is too much important to go laughing about. <ríe> go laughing. My gosh. Laughing lo vimos en hace dos capítulos. No es muy usado, pero tiene que ver con eh, vagar. Laughing, laughing, laughing about, ¿no? Ir holgazaneando, ir holgazaneando por ahí, ¿no? The geographer is too much important, es demasiado importante, ¿no? El geógrafo para que vaya a perder el tiempo, ¿no? <ríe> En esa labor, ¿no? He does not leave his desk. Uh, leave. What does leave mean, guys? Leave y, and desk. A ver, la otra palabra sería desk. Leave. What does leave mean? Leave. Okay, guys. What does leave mean? Leave. Es, en este caso es dejar. Okay, desk. What does desk mean, guys? Desk. What does desk mean, guys? Okay, what does desk mean? Hey, escritorio, muy bien. Um, que okay, no deja su escritorio, but he receives. The explorer in his study. Okay. Okay, receive. Ajá, recibe. Uh, explorer in his study. Eh, recibe a los exploradores en su estudio. Uh, he asks them questions and he notes down. Notes down. Guys, what does notes now mean? He asks, él, pregun él les hace preguntas, ¿no? O él les formula preguntas, and he notes down what they recall. Recall también. Es introvertido too much or too much is the reading, uh, too much or much to in the reading. Uh, ¿Está invertido? ¿En qué parte? Too much or much to, no, too much. It's too much to read. Uh, it's too much important, yes. It's much. Uh, lo que pasa es que aquí es, es mucho. Y aquí el tú afecta acá. 
Ah, uh, important. Too important. Is much too important. Is much too important. Es mucho muy importante. ¿eh? Algo así. Aquí, ¿ya? Yeah? Uh, this is like going round the bash. I think it's enough with the contraction of having. But they added got. Mm -hmm. Is the is like they are saying the same word twice. <laughs> sí, pareciera, ¿no? Bueno, son particularidades del inglés. Eh, en este caso sería anotar. That they recall. Ok, recall. Recall is a different way to say to remember. En ambos casos significa recordar. Muy bien, muy bien para todos los que están dándole allí. Uh, they, uh, they, they recall at their, at their travels, ¿no? Que ellos recuerdan en sus viajes, travels, viajes. As if the recollection of any among them seem interesting to him, no? As and if the recollections of any of them among the, of any among them seem very is seem interesting to him, okay? Y si las recolecciones de de algunos de entre ellos, no? Seem. What does seem mean, guys? Seem. Si las recolecciones, ¿no? O lo que ellos le dicen eh, de lo que de al, alguno de entre ellos, ¿no? Among them, alguno entre ellos parece, ajá, parece interesante, le parece interesante. The geographer all orders an inquiry into the explorer's moral character. Este, esta palabra de aquí tiene varias eh, tiene mm, me, me hace una dificultad ¿no? porque yo normalmente lo pronunciaba como inquir, inquiry inquiry ya pero eh, en el inglés británico se pronuncia así inquiry inquiry por alguna razón yo les pronunciaba así inquiry eh, en el británico Inquiry, 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 o inquiry. A ver, déjenme mostrarles, ¿ya? Para, ya ustedes juzgan cómo lo pronuncio. Vamos a ponerle aquí. Porque no solamente cambia la pronunciación, sino también dónde va el, la fuerza de voz, ¿no? A ver. A ver, vamos a poner por acá y ustedes mismos van. A ver, vamos a subir el volumen. Ese es en el caso del británico. Inquiry. 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 No, esto de aquí no es, esto no es, esto no es. Este de aquí sí es el británico. El británico. Inquiry. Me están poniendo como si fuera, vamos a buscar en otro lugar. A ver, Lingue, ¿dónde está la pronunciación? Pronunciation, I need the pronunciation. Inquiry. Inquiry. Mm -hmm. Inquiry. 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 Yeah, entonces ahí tiene las dos pronunciaciones. Inquiry. Eh, el americano. Inquiry. Inquiry. En el británico. ¿Ya? Yeah. Así que ahí tiene un, un tip. Seguimos. Inquiry. Yes, inquiry. Yo por alguna razón lo pronunciaba inquiry. Cuando lo busqué, bueno. Um, the geographer orders, uh, orders an inquiry or inquiry into the explorer's motor card. ¿No ven? Se me escapa el otro. Bueno, ok, what does inquiry mean? Inquiry. What does inquiry mean? Eh, británico, no, el británico es chévere, a mí me gusta bastante la, el acento. In, se siente muy elegante, muy llamativo. 
Ok. En este caso, eh, es un sus esto puede ser un verbo o puede ser un sustantivo, ¿ya? Aquí, en este caso, es un sustantivo. Porque dice, ordena el geógrafo, ordena un o una investigación. O, en algunos casos, una petición. ¿Ok? En algunos, algunos contextos, eh, petición. Inquiry, petición. Más que consulta sería petición. Inquiry. Eh, ok, orders an inquiry into the explorer's moral character. ¿no? Eh, ordena una indagación del character. Ok, character. Podría ser la naturaleza, el carácter moral del explorador. ¿no? Ajá, del carácter, la naturaleza. Uh -huh. La calidad también podríamos decir acá. ¿no? La calidad moral del del investigador. Ajá. A ver, vamos a hacer estos dos párrafos más. Why is that? ¿Y por qué es eso? No? Because an explorer who told lies would bring disaster on a books uh, on the books of a geographer. Ok, because an explorer, porque un explorador who told lies, who told lies, que dice lies, en este caso es decir Lies. Mentira, señor, mentira. <ríe> ok. Mentira, lie. Un, un explorador que dice mentiras would bring. Traería, ¿no? Traería desastres a los libros de un geógrafo. So would an explorer who drank too much. ¿no? Who, so, ¿no? So would an explorer. So. En, este, en estas circunstancias dice, ¿no? Así, cuando estamos haciendo una comparación, aquí está haciendo una comparación, ¿no? eh, De la misma manera, sería eh, un explorador que, who drunk, ¿no? Que toma mucho, ¿no? Drunk viene de tomar. Eh, que toma mucho. Ajá. So would an explorer who drunk too much, ¿no? So, uh, as, de la misma manera lo haría un explorador que ha tomado mucho. Ajá, perfecto. Entonces, eh, vamos a leer esta parte. A ver, desde aquí ya, desde Geographer. But you are a Geographer. Y los escucho luego. Ahí mandando sus solicitudes en la opción varios. Bienvenidos a todos los que se están conectando. Estamos leyendo el capítulo número 15 del Principito. ¿Ya? ya hemos aprendido muchísimo vocabulario y hoy también no es la excepción. Empezamos. But you are a geographer. Exactly, the geographer said. But I am not an explorer. I haven't a single explorer on my planet. It has no geographer who goes out to count the towns, the rivers, the mountains, the seas, the oceans and the deserts. The geographer is much too important to go laughing about. He does not leave his desk, but he receives explorer in his study. He asks them questions and then notes down what they recalled on their travels. And, uh, and if the recollections of any among, among them seem interesting to him, the geographer orders an inquiry, the inquiry into the explorer's moral character. Why is that? Because an explorer who told lies would bring the disasters on the book of a geographer. So would an explorer who drank too much. Okay, guys, let's see what do you have. Claudia, let's start with you. Hello. Hi, how are you? Claudia, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Nice to listen to you. Uh, Claudia, tell me, how was your day? Oh, pretty interesting. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I went, I, I got very early to go to work. And I don't know, I have a lot of meetings. And yeah, the usually, oh. I think. Um, what do you do, Claudia? I'm a human resource um, 
management. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I think yeah. you already from you already told us about that, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, yeah, I remember. I remember a little. Okay, so <laughs> okay. a lot of meetings. Yes, very complicated when we have to do a lot of things, but yes. it's part of the job, right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, Claudia is sleepy. <laughs> yes, Claudia. No. Uh, I, I don't know if you can moment. hear me very well. I, <laughs> yes, 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 we can hear, we can listen okay. to you. It's, it's okay. Okay. Um, uh, okay, people in the chat is joking, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Claudia, let's start listening to you, okay? You can start from this part, but you are a geographer till this okay. part. Okay, it's no problem. But you are a geographer, exactly, the geographer said. But I'm not an explorer. I have been a single explorer on my planet. It is not the geographer who goes out to count towns, the rivers, the mountains, the seas, the oceans and the deserts. The geographer is much too important to go laughing about. He does not leave his de desk. But he receives the explorers in his study. He asks them questions and he knows he notes down what they recall of their troubles. And if the recollections of any one among them seem interesting to him, the geographers the geographer orders an inquiry into that explorer's moral character. Why is that? Because an explorer who told lies will bring disaster on the books of the geographer. So will an explorer who so will an explorer who drank too much? Okay, very nice, very nice. Yes, now I remember you, Claudia. <laughs> the Hermione, the Peruvian Hermione. <laughs> <laughs> no. yes. Very it's nice. a joke, I think. <laughs> yeah. We were Thank we you. were talking about a British English guys. Justo que estábamos hablando de inglés británico y aquí tenemos a Claudia. Claudia has a very nice a British accent. I really love it. I really love it. So uh, and your and your reading also it's very very outstanding too. Okay, so continue hey, working on that. I'm, I'm we, glad to be here and to listen to you and learn more about, yeah. well, 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 I think, learn more with this kind of classes. I really like them so much. So thank you okay. to you. Okay, you're welcome. And thank you to you for being here. Okay, thanks. Let's continue. Uh, thank you very much, Claudia. Okay. Hello. Eli. Hello. Good evening. Eli, can you speak up, please? A ver, eh, puedes hablar un poquito más fuerte para poder escucharte. Mm, can you hear me now? Yes, it is much better. Okay. Okay, Eli, tell us, where are you from? I'm from Peru. Okay. Uh, where exactly? Uh, now I live in Huancayo. Oh, Huancayo, nice, nice. We had a, a Huancayo, uh, an English teacher from Huancayo, like two weeks ago. Nice. Uh, he was teaching in Aribna, uh, at Huancayo, uh, Huancayo Sibna. And yeah, very nice. Um, are, why are you living in Huancayo right now? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's work, story. family, I don't know. Uh, for my family. Ah, okay, okay, with your family too. So is, is your family originally from Huancayo? Oh, yeah. Ah, okay, so that's very nice. Uh, I Well, my family is originally from Tarma. Uh, it's two hours a long no? from Huancayo to Terma, two hours far. And it's very nice. Yeah. The uh, Huancayo to I visited Huancayo to uh, I loved uh, the 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 city. Maybe the weather it's a little cold but well, that's For not me, a problem. I like the weather is very cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> yeah. So uh, it's very nice. So uh, greetings from to Juan Calle. Let's start listening to your reading, okay? You can start whenever you want. But you are a geographer Thank until you. the end. Uh, but you are a geographer? Exactly, the geographer said. But I am not an explorer. I have a single explorer on my planet. It is not the geographer who goes out the count the towns, the river, the mountains, the seas, the ocean, and the desert. The geography is much too important to go laughing about. He does not leave his desk, but he receives the explorer in the, his study. He asks them questions and he notes down but the wrinkle of the travels and if the recollection of any one among them seem interesting to him, the geography orders an inquiry into the explorer's mo uh, moral character. Why is that? Because an explorer who told lies could bring disaster on the books of the geographer, so good an explorer who drank too much. Okay, good, good, very nice. Don't forget to uh, give your claps, please, everybody in the chat. Okay, clap for your friend. Um, Ellie, very nice reading. <laughs> I really liked it. Yeah. Nervous, I don't know. A little nervous. Okay, yeah, maybe. Nervous, but... yes. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. It was very nice, your reading is okay. Yeah, uh, maybe your intonation, you can, you have to give more feeling, no? You have to, everybody yeah, needs to feel the, the <laughs> uh, I'm just, oh, no, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, very nice. Uh, I really love it too, your pronunciation too. No? You are very, Amer you sound very American too. <laughs> so we had a British accent and now an American accent reading. <laughs> continue, continue practicing too, really. La siguiente pregunta es, Ah, no, perdón, la respuesta, ¿no? Lo que le preguntó el principito era, why is that? ¿Por qué, no? ¿Por qué es eso, no? Because intoxica intoxicated men see double. Ok, porque eh, los hombres, bueno, ¿no? Que están ebrios, ¿no? Intoxicados, ¿no? See double, ven doble, double. Seguimos. Then, the geographer would not down two mountains in a place where there was only one, ¿no? Pero el geógrafo solo, eh, anotaría dos montañas en, en el lugar donde solamente hay una. I know someone, said the little prince, who would make a bad explorer. ¿no? <ríe> Conozco a alguien, dijo el principito, que sería un, gra un explorador muy, ma muy malo. ¿no? Se refiere al Dipler, al Tipler, al borrachito que se encontró en el segundo planeta. No, en el tercer planeta. And that is possible then, when the moral character of the explorer is shown to be good, an inquiry is ordered into his discovery. <coughs> ok. Eh, eso es posible, pero en, entonces, cuando la naturaleza moral, ¿no? el carácter moral del explorador, is shown, es, de, es demostrado, ¿no? o es mostrado. Show, mostrar, ¿no? O demostrar. Eh, se, mu eh, mu se, se muestra ser bueno, ¿no? An inquiry, una indagación, una investigación, se ordena hacia su descubrimiento. Discovery, descubrimiento. Ajá, one goes to see it. One goes to see it. Uno va a verlo. <coughs> ok, uno, o sea, alguien va a verlo. One goes to say it, no, that would be too complicated, ¿no? Eso sería muy complicado, complicated, como la canción de Avila Bien, ¿no? Complicated. But one requires the explorer to furnish proof, ¿no? Pero uno requiere, requiere o espera, require, require, requerir. Uno requiere, vamos a ponerla aquí, requiere, ¿no? ¿eh? One requires exploder to furnish proofs. Okay, furnish. 
What does furnish mean, guys? Si fuera una casa, furnish sería amoblar. Pero en este caso nosotros lo utilizamos para eh, fa proveer. El, eh, el explorador necesita proveer o dar muestras de sus pruebas. Proofs, ¿no? Proporcionar pruebas. Proofs. Uh, for example, if the discovery is question, in question is that of a large mountain, one requires a large stones to be brought back from it. Por ejemplo, si el descubrimiento en cuestión is that of a large mountain, es acerca de una montaña grande, one requires, ¿no? uno requiere, uh, large stones to be brought, ¿no? uh, grandes rocas, o oh, eh, ser traídas, ¿no? Brought back, brought back, ¿no? traer de vuelta, brought back. Esto de aquí sería el pasado de bring back, ¿no? bring back, traer de vuelta, bring back, traer de vuelta. ¿no? The geographer was suddenly stirred in excitement. The geographer was stirred. What does stirred mean, guys? Mover o remover. The geographer was suddenly, suddenly, what does suddenly mean? Este adverbio, ¿qué significa? Suddenly, inesperadamente. Uh -huh. The geographer was suddenly, estaba, eh, movi estaba movido en, de emoción, ¿no? Movido de emoción, emoción. Uh -huh. estaba, stir of excitement, estaba muy emocionado, ¿no? De repente, repentina, in inesperadamente. Vamos a ponerle acá. Repentinamente, de repente, muy bien. But you, you come from far away, pero tú, tú vienes de muy lejos. You are an explorer, you shall describe your planet to me. Ok, shall, shall. Esto se usa bastante en el inglés británico. Significa lo mismo que will, ¿ya? Yeah? You will describe. Tú me describirás el planeta a mí, tu planeta a mí, ¿no? Tú me describirás tu planeta a mí. Ok, eh, en el inglés británico se usa bastante, en el caso del americano mmm, se usa más el will. O en algunos casos también se usa, se usa parecido al should. Tú debes describirme tu planeta a mí. ¿no? Um, and having opened his big registered. A ver, ¿dónde estamos? A ver, 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 a ¿Dónde estamos? De acá, ¿no? A ver, a ver, one sit. A ver, la última parte, ¿ya? ¿eh? And having opened his big register y habiendo eh, abierto su gran registro. Ok, Melly. Hi, good evening to you. Good evening to today's class. Ok. Uh, the geographer sharpened his pencil. Sharpened. What does sharpen mean? Este es un verbo para sacar punta, ¿no? Uh, en este caso, el lápiz. Le sacó punta el lápiz. The recitals of explorers are put down first in pencil. Los recitales o los testimonios ¿no? de los exploradores... Son puestos o son escritos, put down. Escritos, ¿ya? Escritos. O registrar, ¿no? Escri escritos. O registrados. Ok, registrados, registrados. Uh, the recitals of explorers are put down first in pencil. Son registrados en lápiz. One waits until the explorer has furnished proof, ¿no? Uno espera until. What does until mean? Ok, until. Hasta. Muy bien. A ver, eh, estoy triste. Me dejaron seis y no entiendo bien. Tengo... <ríe> Meli, mándalo al grupo. Mándalo al grupo ahí quizá mm, te puedan ayudar para que lo puedas terminar más rápido. A ver, y hasta, vamos a poner acá. 
Porque aquí te vamos a estar un rato más y quizá te puedan dar más eh, ayudas ¿no? para que te entiendas mejor. We are going to hire a national team of scientists from all over the world. Eh, national. We hire a national team of scientists. A national. Yo le pondría national, ¿eh? Nationalities, ¿no? Es... A ver. Sí, hay grupo. En, eh, entra el link, eh, Natalia, de mi perfil. Ahí está eh, la página de los de los links, tanto de mi página personal como del de, eh, grupo de WhatsApp. Hasta que el explorador haya prove, proveído, sería, ¿no? Proveído, si ¿Sí existe la palabra proveído, <ríe> haya, prove, haya provisto pruebas antes de ponerlas por escrito uh, ajá, en Ok, Inc. What does Inc. mean? A national team. Se murió el celular. <ríe> ya, bueno. Yes. Ok. Eh, before putting them down in Inc. ¿no? Inc. ¿Esto de qué significa? Tinta. Muy bien, tinta. And man, and man, hey. Hi, nice to have you here. What's up? You you arrive a little low, uh, a little late. What happened? Ok, vamos a escuchar entonces la lectura de estos párrafos. ¿ya? Estos son ya los últimos párrafos de la noche. A ver, mmm, hasta aquí. Vamos a leer esta parte. Desde aquí, en texto que eres hasta, ex, hasta aquí nada más. ¿ya? Porque de aquí ya para abajo no se ve mucho. Hasta aquí. A ver, dice aquí. Because intoxicated men see double, then the geographer would note down two mountains in a place where there was only one. I know some someone who said the little prince who would make a bad explorer. That is possible. Then, when the moral character of the explorer is shown to be good, An inquiry is ordered into his discovery. One goes to say it. No, that would be too complicated. But one requires explorer to furnish proofs. For example, if the discovery in question is that of a large mountain, one requires that large stones be brought back from it. Bueno, chicos, muchísimas gracias a todos los que han llegado hasta aquí eh, con eh, tanto el vocabulario como con su lectura. Espero que puedan seguir beneficiándonos de todo lo que ofrece el canal y ya nos estamos viendo el día miércoles. ¿ya? Así que cuídense bastante chicos, eh, que tengan un buen día de semana. Gracias.